One of the really cool things about this project, and you'll understand if you love wood as much as I do, I get to work with this beautiful persimmon. So I went to the sawmill at Iron Station, North Carolina. While I was there, I saw this persimmon and the grain and the colors just really jumped out at me and the different colors. It's just a cool wood to work with. My wife is a band director and for their Christmas concert this year, they're gonna do Sleigh Ride. And Sleigh Ride has horses hooves in the song, so the percussion player is going to play the wood block to emulate the sound of a horse's hooves. I thought it would be kind of neat if she had two wood blocks, and the second wood block made a slightly different tone than the other wood block. It would sound kind of like a horse's hooves. So if you want to make a wood block percussion instrument, stay tuned. So here's the wood block, and I cut a channel in this wood block, and I did it with the router and the router bit wasn't long enough to go as deep as I wanted to go in this. I'm modeling this uh, partially after a wood block that my wife already has and right now with the depth that this channel is I don't get a lot of sound out of the block so I want to make this a little bit deeper and see if I can get a little better sound out of it so I tried with the uh, router bit I pushed it out uh, just as far as it would go here on the router table this is a new bit that I've got that I'm going to finish this up with. Uh, but then I went over uh, to the drill press and used the Forstner bit and went just a little bit deeper, but it gave it kind of a ragged uh, look down there at the bottom. So I really don't want to go that much further, um, maybe three-eighths of an inch further than what I have there. Uh, but I, I do want to clean up uh, the bottom of that so that it looks better. So I'm going to try to finish it up here on the router. And what I'll do is because I've moved the router fence back to put this new bit in, now I'm going to experiment because uh, this is a half inch uh, bit instead of a quarter inch bit. Uh, I need to play with this fence to make sure that when I slide this block down that that bit goes in that slot. And I may have to make um, a couple of passes because I don't want to take off too much stock at one time and also because I think the slot is going to be just a little bit wider than the new bit that I have here. So I'm going to adjust the fence a bit. So I think the best way to start on adjusting this fence, I'm just going to put this slot down over the bit and I'll pull it back. There's a little bit of play in there. So I'll pull it back this way and then I'll adjust my fence. And then I'll tighten it up. Make sure that's good and secure because I am going to be putting some force into this uh, to make sure I hold this up against the wall. So I want to make sure uh, the fence is securely in place. I also have these two feather boards uh, pushed down so they can act as stops. So when I get to this point, I can't go any further. And so that makes sure that the uh, slot that I cut stops before it goes out the side of the block there. And the same thing on this side. And then while holding, while holding this piece in place tightly against the fence, I stop the router. I don't want to try to pull it off. Um, because this bit is so long, I don't want to try to pull this workpiece off of there while the router's still going. So I, I wait for it to completely stop before I move it. And now I'm just going to adjust the bit to come up just a little bit.
Now I've moved the bit up just a little bit more and I'm not in any hurry to get to my final depth here. I want to take it slow, uh, take it just one pass at a time, moving the bit up just a tiny bit. Um, for one thing, this takes off so much material in here. If you move it up too much, this slot will clog up with wood shavings and it'll be hard for the bit to move. Uh, so taking it just a little bit at a time. So I've got the slot now cut to the depth and width that I want it. And so now I'm going to do a little sanding. I thought about rounding over the edges with a round over bit, but I think I'm just going to sand it um, and also uh, sand down in that slot just a bit and go ahead and finish it. I'm going to use a toothbrush to get the sawdust out of this slot. Guessing that if there's a lot of sawdust down in this slot, it could hurt the echo and the sound that this block makes. So, getting all that out. Uh, yellow, is it Jimmy? This is who? Lynn from the Dobbin Over Show. You got the email then. Okay. Well, it's nice of you to call. That'd be a little quiet here. Uh, yeah, my boss is here. <laughs> no. No, he's not the handsome fella, that's me. Well, yeah, um, like the email said, um, I'm looking to kind of branch out, get another partnership going. You've seen some of our, our videos, you've seen the show. Okay, okay, yeah, so you know what I do. No, you still don't, you still don't know what I do. Well, basically, all the stuff that requires an expert, that's me, that's where I came in. A lot of it's not on camera, right? No, don't apologize. You don't. You don't need an assistant. Okay. Ah. Uh, oh no. No, I don't think think I'm really in the market for uh, for a mallet. You take care too. Okay. Bye bye now. Hey Jimmy. Uh. No. Uh, Lynn from the Darwin Over Show. I will not come and be your assistant. I work on Patrick Parson Workshop. Perfectly happy here. Treats me like gold. Thanks for the offer, but no thanks. I drilled two holes in the bottom, and those were in the original wood block that I modeled this from. And I, th I think they have something to do with the acoustics. So anyway, I drilled those in there. Those are about a quarter inch deep. Hey, Jimmy, was that... Lynn from the Darbin Order. Yeah, that was her I thought, again. I heard you saying. Oh, what did she have oh, to say? Oh, just kind of the usual. Uh, uh -huh. Enjoy your work. You're great. You inspire me. Right. You get a lot of those calls. You know, but this, this time was a little bit different. She asked mm. me to come and be, you know, an assistant on her show. Mm. Well, you know, Jimmy, we and hate probably to probably heard you. What, I, what I told her there. I was like, no, happy here. Right. I got a good gig going. Boss is well, great. it's nice of her to call, though. So that was a yeah. Well, that was a nice offer. I, anyway. I was pretty firm. I don't think she'll be calling back again. Well, you know, she probably looks at our show, and mm -hmm. it's understandable. She'd be curious what the secret mm -hmm. formula is. Mm -hmm. If you look at her channel over there, mm -hmm. you know, she's got like uh, thousands and thousands of views. Mm -hmm. Along along with that comes extra overhead you get probably yeah. got a lot more emails to answer a lot of boxes coming in from people and fans sending you free it? stuff we're we gonna spend all you our know, time opening packages no it's a drag we don't need all that garbage mm -hmm. you got sponsors ringing your phone yeah. off the hook probably mm -hmm. and that's a pain you're yeah, right headache in the yeah. patootie Hey, Jimmy. Yeah, Patrick. Hey, I'm going to run to the store. Um, I'll be right back. Would you uh, take care of that stuff? Yeah, I'll take care of all that list. stuff when you're gone. Thanks. All right. You drive safe. Bye. See you later. I got everything under control here. Is he gone? Good. A little more of a B.
bass sound, that one. Like. And then. And then. And then. Well, the highway jam was broken. Hero on a last chance power drive. Jimmy was cool and he was in the shop and there was no place left to hide. Oh yeah. Patrick said, don't play with the wood blocks while I am gone to load. But Jimmy didn't care what Patrick said, he was playing the wood blocks anyway.